our lab here at University of Florida uh, is the mass spectrometry facility. We're centralized. Um, basically, mass spectrometry, what it does is weigh molecules. And so just like when you go to the doctor's office, uh, and you get weighed, the doctor gets certain information about you and uh, can be used to understand the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. So uh, every molecule has a molecular weight. This is based off of the periodic table. So we know carbon has an atomic mass of 12 and nitrogen 14. And so when we add it all up, a uh, molecule has a certain molecular weight. We can put it in the instrument, measure it, and then we can validate that that's what indeed that molecule is. Um, this applies to all sorts of different fields of science. We can measure the molecular weight of DNA, of proteins, wow. of small molecules, um, uh, from all sorts of uh, sources. So human, plant, tissue, uh, river, uh, all sorts of uh, different sources mm -hmm. is what we can measure. Now, what would be an application of someone coming to require this information? What oh, well, we have uh, all sorts of different uh, uh, types of applications. So, for example, if you've ever watched the Olympics and mm -hmm. seen some of the athletes be caught using illegal substances, it is a mass spectrometer that is used to detect those illegal substances okay. in athletes. Um, it's also used in the horse racing industry, same sort of thing. Um, it's used in the food industry to make sure that uh, if they're claiming to have all pure uh, ingredients, um, that it's not adulterated with, um, uh, you know, certain sugars and things like that, that uh, okay. MassSpec is used in that application as well. So uh, is that required by the FDA or, F, um, or any other government agency? Absolutely. They're looking for certain chemical components to be present and yep. they have to be at a certain, certain level, level. Mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. a certain parameter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Now, and how would you difficult. determine that? If looking here, at like you have graphs running, mm -hmm. what would you be looking for here? Um, so what we can do with a mass spectrometer is we can both quantitate and identify. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one of the things that we like to do when we have high schoolers come in the lab is take Mountain Dew, Coke, uh, Pepsi, some tea and coffee, mm -hmm. and we can actually extract the caffeine from it and we can measure how much caffeine is in each drink and they can see that Mountain Dew by That's far has the most <laughs> caffeine out of anything that we've ever done. Oh, wow. But it's related to, uh, you know, how high these peaks the peak. are mm -hmm. and then underneath these peaks then we get the molecular weight. So caffeine is 194, so if we see this peak and we see 194 ah, okay. then we know that it's caffeine. Okay. The mass spectrometer is very sensitive. Uh, we have some that are around the corner that are in the femtomol, and uh, that is one times 10 to the minus 15 mm. molar. So wow. it's um, uh, very, 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 very sensitive. sensitive. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How long does the test run? Um, a test can take anywhere from 12 seconds to two hours. Oh, wow. Uh, the mass spec itself uh, you know, on average, it might take 30 minutes, an hour, but it's actually the calculations, the bioinformatics is what it's called, uh, uh, where you're doing the actual quantitation. That is, mm -hmm. that is actually sometimes what can be labor intensive. Yeah. When we're doing some of the protein sequencing that we do, some of those uh, calculations can take upwards of eight hours. So yeah. it might only take an hour to acquire the data, but it takes eight hours for the computer to think <laughs> about it. Have there been any kind of testing done like that to determine the life of the oil or, you know, the cycle of the oil in the body? Uh, not in the body. Uh, uh, I previously uh, was at Ohio State for many, many years, and there was a researcher who was looking at essential oils in uh, wound, wound therapy. So mm -hmm. does your wounds mm -hmm. heal? Uh, faster when you're relaxed um, uh -huh. and uh, his we had to do a study with him to prove that the essential oil stayed with the same formulation over the course of a year over storage so did it change right um, because they were going to do this big clinical study yeah. and they didn't want the lemon oil at the beginning of the study to have degraded or changed yeah. and uh, I mean even if you have olive oil in your counter right, in your rancid. cabinet it can right. go rancid mm -hmm. so um so we had to uh, do this study to make sure that the storage of the oil was keeping its integrity mm -hmm. um so yeah we've 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 done um th okay. projects like that okay mm -hmm. so actually determining the life of uh, an essential oil would require a gcms yes absolutely mm -hmm. to know 
to see Because I changing. offered uh, six months for, let's say, citrus oils. Mm -hmm. Would that be accurate or is that... Be something you'd have to test, but you okay. can see it right away. Uh, you know, in this example here, this forms a pattern, mm -hmm. okay? And your eyeball can see the pattern, but a computer can uh, really, really, really look at that pattern uh, closely and uh, any shift in that pattern will show mm -hmm. up a red flag and mm -hmm. tell you that something is changing or different mm -hmm. and that a component of the oil is degraded mm -hmm. um, or evaporated mm -hmm. off. You know, some of these are volatile, so if they're not you know, stored in airtight containers, right, right. they just you know, evaporate right. away, so. Yeah, well there's a lot of, um, I guess, Different of opinions with people saying how long does it really last? Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean, I think the nose test really tells yeah. you right away. Yeah, something's off. Right. With yes. a citrus oil, yes. it's rancid. Right. You yep. can tell right away. Yep. yep. Um, but I think yeah. this would be a technique that you could detect it much earlier. Okay. Okay. So uh, uh, molecularly, things will be changing before that you might be able to detect it visually right. or with your senses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well that's good to know. Yeah. Well thank you for sharing You're with welcome. us all this information.